lesson nine, fifth grade, and this is on practicing the subtraction algorithm. Weird word, remember? Algorithm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. In order for us to practice, okay, I want you to listen to this story. Maria has $524, but she, may, she must pay Jay... She has to pay him $58 for rent. That's a low rent. And after she pays Jay, how much money will she have? Okay, what kind of problem do I do here? Listen to the story. Maria has $524, but she must pay Jay $58 for rent. After she pays Jay, how much money will she have? What kind of problem are you going to do, Eli? Multiplication. Like Try again. Right. Minusing. Mm -hmm. Minusing called subtraction, okay? So what you're doing is knowing this minus this. Correct? Correct. Okay. Did you see how I lined up my ones, my tens, my hundreds? Okay. Before we do it this way, we're going to do it the illustrative way first. Okay, to actually see it done. So watch what I do. Okay, let's take this number because that's what she has before she has to pay Jay. So let's actually put how much she has, okay? So 524. So how many hundreds do I need? Uh, five. Okay, so one hundred, two hundreds, three hundreds, four hundreds, five hundreds, okay? What's next? Two. Uh -huh. Tens. How many? Of, what is this spot? Two tens. This is the ten spot, so we're going to do two of them. Two tens. Good. And last? Uh, ones. Okay. So how many of those do I have? Four. One. Two. Three. Okay. See what we got here, Eli? Five hundreds. Two tens and four ones makes five hundred twenty-one four dollars. Five hundred twenty-four. Okay. How much do I need to take away? Fifty-eight. Okay. Let's start. We always start with the ones and we move this way in math. Remember that? So let's start with our ones, tens, hundreds. Okay? Let's start with our ones. How many ones do I need? Eight. Okay, do I have eight here? What do I need to do? You can cross out from the tens. Take a ten from over here and bring it over here, right? So I'm going to cross out one of these tens and bring ten ones over here. I'm going to break that ten dollar bill up and put them into ten ones. So watch what happens. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I took a $10 bill, and we, need to more, we needed more ones to get, so I brought it over here and have ten of those. Now, can I take eight ones now? Yes. Can I take away eight of these? Yeah. So watch this. I'm going to take them away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, hey, how many ones left do I have? Six. Six, okay. So, so far I'm going to write down six in this spot. One, in our, one spot. No, just wait. Okay, now let's look at our tens. Okay. I had two tens, right? And I had to take away one to bring it over here, right? Now I only have one ten left, okay? But I'm going to subtract or take away five tens. Do I have five tens? Nope. What do I need to do? Take from the hundred. Take from the hundred. We're going to take away one hundred. And there are ten one hundred dollar bills. Ten, 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 ten dollar bills make up one hundred dollar bills. Dollar bill. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I took one $100 bill and broke it up into ten $10 bills, which makes this $100, right? Now, can I take away five now? Uh, yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. How many tens do I have left? Sixty. One, two, three, six. Four, five, six. I have six tens. So we'll put a six there. Very good. Now, how many do I take away any hundreds? I'm going to put a zero there. That means I don't have to take away any hundreds. Okay, so I don't have to take away any more. So how many hundreds do I have? Four. What's my final answer? Four, Four hundreds, six. six tens, and six ones makes $466, right? All right, now let's try not the illustrative way, and let's do it subtraction way, okay? The mathematical way. $524 minus 58. Again, you want to line up your ones, your tens, and then there are no hundreds, okay? So if we were to do this mathematically, okay, the way I taught both my sons was to um, look at this bottom. You always start from right and move to the left. So we're gonna, we need eight apples, but up in our tree, we only have four apples. I have eight down here. So I need to come over here to this house or this tree and borrow. Okay, so I took away one from him which gives me 10 because I took away a 10 since this is the 10's spot, right? Do you remember that, Eli? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 10 plus 4 made what? 14. Very good. So I'm going to just cross that out and write 14 right here. Now, can I take away 8 apples from 14? Yes. Yeah. So how much is that? I'll make it 6. 6, very good. All right, now let's move to this one. Can I take 5 apples... From one. Nope, what do I need to do? Take away from Go the Go next door to the next tree. Okay. And I'm going I'm to take away one from him. There are ten of these that come back over here. So ten plus this one makes... Six. You remember this, Eli? Ten plus this one makes... makes eleven. Eleven. Can I take away five from eleven? Yes. Six, very good. And then four, take away no apples, we would still have four left. So our final answer is $466. Now, you could do it the illustrative way or you could do it the mathematical way at this point. It's up to you what you feel comfortable with, okay? Let's try another one. Eli, you can do this on your paper. Okay. 346. Minus Okay, you want to perform the problem. Okay, he got... Two or two minus two is zero. Okay, so let's see how if Eli gets it right, okay? So, if I remember I start with my ones and I move this way, okay? I have six apples and I need four. So if I take away four apples from six, I would get two, four, five, six, okay? But this one, I have four apples up top and I need six apples. Don't have it, so what do I do? Go next door. Take away one from him, and there are ten 
$10 bills and a 100, so I'm going to put 10 over here, plus this 4 makes it 14, right? 6 from 14 is how much? Um, 8. 8, very good. And then I have 2 here, and I need to take away 2, which gives me none, okay? So final answer is what, Elon? 82. 82, excellent job, and he got it right. All right. Let's do a little bit harder one. And what makes this one hard is because it has zeros. Sometimes it's hard to understand zeros. Okay? So let's try that one. You write that down. Yep, you can. Okay? So, this one you have to look in advance forward over here, okay? So we're going to start here and move this way. I have zero apples in this tree. Right? Correct. And I need three. So guess what? I need to go up next door to get one, but what's the problem? This one doesn't have any. So I have to go next door again to borrow one from him. Okay? So I took away one from him, and then I'm going to bring it over this way. Okay? So there are ten one hundreds in this one, so I'm going to bring it over here. Now I have ten tens there. Okay? So let's leave this here again. Let's start back over here. I need three apples and I have zero, so I'm going to take one from him and bring it over here, which gives me ten, because there are ten one dollar bills in the ten spot. Okay? So we're going to bring it over here. So now, I have ten ones, ten apples, and I'm going to take away three, which gives me seven. Here, I have nine apples. I'm going to take away two, which gives me seven. And here I have five apples. I'm going to take away one, and it gives me four. Got it? How'd you do? Excellent job. 477 is your answer. And that is lesson nine.